Nini everyone, Zabora here. Um, I do apologize. I try to keep the political stuff off my channel, but um, I kind of feel this needs to be said. So I'm going to say it. If you guys want to skip it, go ahead. That's totally fine. Um, if you happen to disagree with me, again, totally fine. Let's hear about it in the comments. I'd love to engage with you. Um, so I saw a video by a woman who said some pretty racist stuff. And um, at least that's how it seemed to me. And in this video, they asked very specific questions, and I addressed those questions. The questions were, what's wrong with the Confederate flag? What's wrong with Confederate monuments um, and statues? And the last one was, what's wrong with Andrew Jackson? What do you have against Andrew Jackson? So I proceeded to explain to this person that the Confederate flag was a flag of, the, of an enemy state, um, that seceded from the Union because they were afraid the North was coming for their slaves. And uh, you can actually see proof of that in the state's letters of secession, where they name slavery um, as reasons for their secession. While you can go ahead and argue that it was about states' rights, the states' rights in question was the right to own people. So, it was about slavery. Um, the So, for me, the, the Confederate flag, raving around the Confederate flag, a defeated uh, army would be a, like waving around a North Korean flag. It's, it's, a, it's an enemy state. It's not something that whose ideas we would hold to be dear. Um, so, the ideas behind the, the flag and what this Confederacy stood for is is not something that I believe should be glorified and as accepted as um, something to be proud of. So to me, that's what I have the problem with, with wave, waving around a, a Confederate flag. It's like waving around a Nazi flag to me. It's a defeated ideal um, ideology that doesn't hold any value to me or humanity, in my opinion. So that's what's wrong with the Confederate flag. Um, as for statues and monuments, well, statues and monuments are used for glor to glorify people. They're not used um, as history uh, teachers, as you falsely accused, or this woman um, falsely accused them of being. She says that we were attacking, uh, or excuse me, that people are attacking history when they attack statues, and that's just not true. Most Confederate statues um, went up in the 1960s and 70s, most one of in the 60s and 70s, um, in what I can assume is only an act of aggression against the civil rights movement um, by southern states, in my opinion. Uh, so monuments, like I said, are used to glorify people and what they stood for. So if you're going to have a statue of a man who owned slaves and who stood for slavery and the right to own people in a public park that kind of sends a strong message of your state. So I don't, and I don't think it's a good message. Um, I think that there are tons of people in every city and state that have done good things for their country or their state or whatever else that you can build statues of them and put them in parks um, in order to glorify and honor them and those things have nothing to do with slavery. They have nothing to do with owning people as property. So that's the problem that I have with statues. As for it being history and related to history, well, if you take down the statues, you're not erasing history because history is not recorded in statues. History is recorded in museums, in books, in uh, archaeological evidence left behind. These are, these are things that you can find, um, and they belong in museums. They don't belong in parks, as I said. So <clears throat> taking, down history, taking down statues doesn't impact history. Uh, using the Nazi Germany as an example, when the Nazi statues were taken down when Germany was liberated from the Nazis, um, we don't forget that World War II happened because there's no Nazi statues in Germany. That's just not how that works. So that's a defeated argument. Um, as for Andrew Jackson, Andrew Jackson's happened to be a slave owner. Um, he was a president 
George W. Bush was a slave owner, or excuse me, not George W. Bush, George Washington was a slave owner. These are just facts. People need to accept these things. And the easier it is, uh, the sooner that you accept, hey, these are things that happened in history, um, that's where we can keep it is in history. So don't, don't try to run from the truth. It's not okay. So Andrew Jackson was a slave owner. I'm sorry that, that this person was ignorant enough to not know these things when they're easily Googled. So, yeah, that's just how I feel about that. <laughs> um, so then in response to my post, um, they decided to go find a TikTok video of a black person who happened to be a conservative um, Republican and was toting around his Confederate flag. They did not address any of my arguments. Instead, they decided to call this black person of color hot. Not saying that people of color are not hot or anything of that nature. But um, to me, it looked like she was using this person as a tool, as a prop, in order to disguise her own racism. Uh, and by calling him hot, you know, she was... Um, she was trying to pretend she wasn't the racist or she didn't say the racist things that she said. Uh, so she was just trying to back backpedal here. And to me, that's not exonerating you of your racism. That's showing exactly how racist you are, that you see this man as a tool to be used to hide your own racism instead of talking about his, uh, his message and what he believes and how he feels you're just like, oh, this hot person is right. And and you didn't actually discuss any of his talking points. You didn't acknowledge a, the racist things that you said. You didn't acknowledge um, the truth about history. Uh, you're just a dishonest person. And you need to accept that, uh, you know, you're wrong. And, and it's okay to be wrong so long as you correct the behavior. But you're never going to do that. You're just going to keep this apologetics bullshit for slavery up, which is disgusting. Um, and I assume that you're doing that because you're a Christian and Bible says that slavery is okay. Um, so you did threaten to, to heal me in the name of Jesus and all that. So <clears throat> I'm sorry you're wrong. I'm sorry that you don't know history. I'm sorry you can't accept facts. And I'm sorry that you're a racist. I really am. It's absolutely disgusting, your behavior. And I really hope that whatever children you have or don't have or children that you impact um, do not carry this message of hate that you are teaching because hate is definitely um, a learned behavior. So that's it for tonight, guys. Set up to.